In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can use the complex mode of our calculator to simplify complex analysis calculations. Now, I'm not going to take it problem-wise or anything. It's just a general way for those of you who do not know about the complex mode of the calculator. So, if you go to menu and go to the complex mode, then you can use this, this particular button to write I. Okay, So, this is our I. And uh, suppose now we can make any calculations using I. For example, this is very useful in residue calculations, in complex integrations and all. That to give you an example, suppose we have to calculate 1 plus I square in some calculation. Now instead of doing it by hand and making uh, silly mistakes, we can just write I plus 1 whole square. And that will give us the answer, whatever it is. So suppose we have to calculate 1 plus i cube. Now these calculations are very tedious because you have to remember that i cube is minus i and all that is a high room for making a mistake. So instead of that, we can just write 1 plus i whole cube and that will give us minus 2 plus 2i. You can multiply, divide anything uh, in this mode. So 1 plus i, say into 2 plus i. 2 plus 9, I see. That will give us the answer directly. We don't have to calculate during the exam. Now, in some, in, in suppose residue calculations, we have to calculate a function, say, z square divided by uh, 1 plus z into 2 plus z or something like that at z is equal to, say, 3 plus 4i or something. Okay. So, these cal you commonly encounter these things in your uh, residue calculations. So for this also we can do something. So we can first write 3 plus 4i and store that in variable a. So I'll press STO and then this button for a. So now a has 3 plus 4i. Okay. Now I can write a square. Um, okay. So now I have to calculate z square by 1 plus z, 2 plus z. So I can write a square divided by 1 plus a. I'll just add another bracket here. Into 2 plus a. So that will straight away give us whatever answer we need. If you really want in your uh, to to add something in your answers instead of directly writing it like this, we can also say right. We can find out z square. We can find out that is a square. So let me just write that down. So by one plus z, two plus z is equal to minus seven plus twenty four i divided by. 1 plus z 4 plus 4i four 2 plus z 5 plus 4i and in the end we can write whatever we had got earlier is equal to 209 by 328 plus 87 by I. In case you want to add an additional step in the exam. This is how we can solve a lot of complex calculations very easily. Thank you.